On June 1, 1215, the city of Chengdu, known today as Beijing, fell to the Mongols. They looted the city, sending caravans loaded with luxuries back home. This victory over the Qin dynasty was to be one of Genghis Khan's greatest triumphs. After his death in 1227, his descendants continued the conquests, and his grandson, Batu Khan, had his eyes on the west. The Mongol raids of the 1220s had shown that the Rus lands held riches worth exploiting. The battles had devastated the Rus elite, and their defenses were weak. So Batu Khan organized an enormous invasion force, determined to turn the Rus lands into vassals of the Mongol Empire. The Mongols captured territory after territory. By 1240, they had their sights on the great city of Kiev. Kiev was a jewel among the Rus principalities, a center of scholarship, power, and wealth. Batu Khan's cousin Monka was put in command of the advance force, ready to attack. Chroniclers tell of Monka's admiration for the beauty of Kiev, so he was reluctant to destroy it. Monka sent his envoys to the city to demand its surrender. But Kiev's commander in charge refused and killed the Mongol envoys. Monka would not stand for such disrespect. His army rode to the city walls and prepared to attack. They would show Kiev no mercy. Monke Khan's drive into the west brought the Mongol army to the splendid city of Kiev, the gateway to Europe. The Kievan commander had refused to surrender, leaving Monke only one choice, to take the city by force.
The Mongol army broke through the gates of Kiev and marched on the city. Monka Khan called on his people to bring in their mobile camp, while his forces secured a location for it. The immediate area beyond Kiev's main gate was lightly populated, but rich in resources. Beyond lay three fortified districts, the outer city, the inner city, and a wealthy trade district. The Khan was determined to punish the defiance of Kiev, and would not relent until the entire city fell to ash. The Mongols unpacked their camp, ready to continue their assault on Kiev. The Mongols took out a Kievan supply convoy, 
and claimed the resources for themselves. That's all. Thank <laughs> you. 
unstoppable Mongol army leveled the trade district of Kiev, putting an end to any supplies they could send to the main city. Oh, 
Ти хора от ушата ми дърпай. Oh, you 
devastated the outer city. Yeah. 
As the last buildings collapsed, the Mongol victory was complete. Kiev had fallen. Monka Khan and his Mongol warriors ran freely through the ravaged city, cutting down any survivors and plundering its riches. With Kiev under Mongol control, the gateway to Europe was open 
and the Empire could continue its conquest into the West. <laughs>